My grandparents on my dad's side live in the Middle East, and they came, my grandparents came to visit us a few times when we were younger. And I remember when I got a little bit older, my parents told me that my grandparents had tried to come to see us again and that they were denied, that they weren't able to come. I remember thinking that it, it was unfair or you know, unjust that I'm able to go wherever I want to go and my family can travel freely, but that someone was telling my grandparents that they weren't allowed to come see their family members. And now that I'm older, I, you know, I understand the international relations are terrible and that um, you know, they were denied their visa. But as a child, you know, I didn't understand those things. And now that I'm an adult and I understand them, I think it's even more unfair uh, that they're not allowed to come. We are responsible for meeting with all of the parties in a case. Our job is to find out as much as we can and gather all relevant information as to what would be the best environment for the child, and then to submit that information to the court in a concise, organized report um, in which we make a recommendation as to what would be in the child's best interest. Uh, and on top of all of that, we are a nonprofit, and the county has no resources for paid guardians ad litem. So without a pro bono GAL program, there would be no one in the probate court representing these kids. After I graduated from college, I worked for a year at a nonprofit immigration clinic at the U.S.-Mexico border. And that really opened my eyes, uh, not only to what the situation is like at the border, but also just to the legal system and how it works. Unless you have the resources to hire private counsel, you don't have anyone there representing you. And so that, I think, was the first time I saw huge numbers of people who were unrepresented, who clearly don't have any knowledge of the U.S. legal system, who usually you know, didn't speak the language, and were at such a huge disadvantage. And so I think that that is what prompted me um, to go into public, you know, the public sector and um, into legal services was because I really saw with my own eyes um, how much of a need there is for pro bono representation or free representation and that the people who need the help the most are the people who don't have it. I think that justice means fairness and fair application of the law, or not even the law, but a set of rules or moral guidelines um, to everyone, regardless of your status in society or your race or your religion. Unfortunately, I don't think that justice in that sort of ideal sense really exists in our society, which is why we have programs that are called access to justice. You know, if justice already existed, we wouldn't need an access to justice program. Um, so I think that we are all still striving for that, um, and that legal aid organizations and pro bono attorneys um, help make strides toward that goal, um, but we still have a ways to go. The three words that I think best describe Illinois Legal Aid Online are innovative, accessible, and free.